Can you please introduce yourselves? Absolutely. Uh, this is Alberto Shalon, my partner in crime. And uh, I am very jealous uh, of him because he's a much better biker than I. And he is a fantastic entrepreneur. Uh, he has built a company uh, of 300 million revenue and then turned to very, very successful digital investing. I am extremely proud to be partner and good friend with Andreas, but he's always presenting myself in this way. But I'm very jealous about him, about his career that has been extremely successful at Access Premier Group. He did 200 transactions for 6 billion and disposal, and he could sell the company successfully. And uh, he's a good friend that we know each other since 2014. So it's been a while that you know each other. Absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. So maybe you could tell us why should LPs consider direct secondary funds? Yes, absolutely. We see three main reasons. Uh, the first one is we offer with direct secondary investments a venture capital return with private equity risk. Reason number one. Reason number two is uh, we provide to our LPs access to best-in-class companies that uh, they otherwise would not have had. And thirdly, we have a short fund life of only five years. Let me uh, explain a little bit more detail these uh, three reasons. So reason number one, uh, PE, risk, venture capital return. We looked at 2,800 companies in Euro Europe and in the US that have raised uh, more than 75 million since uh, 2010. And out of these 2,800 companies, only 2% went bankrupt, while those who have exited have made a return of eight times the money in average. So that's what we call PE risk venture returns. Secondly, we select the best in class companies, market leading companies that are two to three years prior to their exit, that have a proven uh, market uh, product fit, that have at least 30% growth rate. And at that late stage, because of our origination power, our network, we are able to uh, offer these companies to our LPs. And usually at that late stage, it is not possible for most investors uh, to enter into these uh, companies. And thirdly, uh, because we focus on secondaries, we can deploy our capital much faster. You do not need to wait until the primary round comes along. You can select your best targets, you reach out to them, and then you invest. So we can deploy our capital in 18 to 24 months. And then we have two to four years to exit, either via IPO, via strategic sale, uh, via PE sale, or potentially also via a secondary. That's why we offer five years plus one as fund life, something with high liquidity, which is very thought after in today's market. Okay, thank you. And maybe you could um, tell me more on uh, why we are seeing discounts in the secondary market. With pleasure. Uh, I don't like too much to talk about discounts. I would like to say there is a misalignment between public price and private price. And when it comes to the secondaries, we need to prove and we need to show to the seller how we can make this new price and this adjustment. And here at Jano, what we consider, first of all, we go back to compare the performances of the companies to the actual public market. Then we need to take in consideration the forward to understand what is going to happen in the next three years. And we need to think how much is the return that we need to do and how much this company can be valued in three, four years when likely we'll have an IPO and m &A. Then we need also to consider a little bit of discount for the illiquid because we are going to take this risk. We also need to consider precisely the share of class we are buying, including the potential risk of a liquidation preference and our share class and some rights that attach it. And finally, we need also to consider what is the likelihood and the risk to run out of cash and to raise further capital if it is possible or not. So when all these data are together, it's, I would say, easy to start a conversation to explain to the seller why the price that they believe is is not the right one and start an open conversation and build a long-term and strong relationship with the seller and being repetitive buyers in the market. Perfect. Thank you for explaining. But the most important question, 
Why is Yano capital? Well, again, uh, there is uh, three reasons uh, for that. The first reason being we are clearly ahead of the curve. We are the first fund that is crystal clear in its focus on secondary investments in single asset in the late stage in Europe. So this is something that clearly sets us apart. And then uh, the second reason is we have a unique entrepreneurial and uh, corporate background that gives a lot of experience uh, to both the companies we are investing in and also in our judgment to assess who are the best teams, who have the best executional capabilities and how grows, uh, how grow, how big can they grow uh, into uh, the market. As we mentioned in, in our introduction, Alberto has uh, founded a company very successful as entrepreneur, a 300 million revenue company. I have been on uh, the board of uh, the largest European media company for 20 years. So we also can speak eye to eye uh, with uh, founders uh, and investors. Uh, and uh, thirdly, we have tested our hypothesis with our own money. We have started investing since 2016 in late stage secondaries and have returned already 1.3 times the money invested. So, and have still uh, another uh, over 150% uh, value on the books. If you compare that to the average fund that has started in 2016, they will only have returned 20% on the dollar. So compare that 130% to 20%. So now we feel comfortable after having tested this uh, with uh, our own money to reach out to other investors to share our experience and to continue uh, our investing at a larger scale. Good and clear results, uh, definitely. And maybe you could walk us through your sourcing, sourcing process and uh, selection strategy. Mm -hmm. Our sourcing process, our sourcing process is really well structured. First of all, we have a lot of data to be analyzed because at this stage, the company we are looking for are already very well known. So the first thing is to look for target. The second thing is to look for the cap table and to understand if we have direct access to any of the shareholder, any the board member, or in any of the founder. When this is happened, we open the dialogue. If this is not possible, we find a second way to enter into the company. It can be advisors, can be law firm, can be auditor. And when the dialogue is open, we always ask to being able to assess appropriate due diligence because so a second transaction needs to assess a due diligence to come to the right price for the buyer and for the seller. And when we have a full alignment between the buyer like Jano Capital and the seller and the management of the company. And typically what we do, we try to keep part of the envelope, of course, for the initial seller that can be a venture capital business angels, but we always want to have the management of the company, some manager also, if they're willing to have liquidities on board with us. And this is super helpful because for a CEO, he can improve a little bit his quality of life, staying motivated for a founder, but he can always retain talent and attract new talent to make phase two, phase three of his company. So this is super important. The criteria of selection of Jano Capital are quite simple and straightforward. We're only looking at companies that generate minimum 30 million revenues in the tech slash digital space. We always expect a minimum 30% growth year on year. And this is a, a very important uh, investment criteria because this will protect in any case our return. For clarity, our return is three times money on money, which leads a 25% IRR in a short time period of four years. We also need to have this company invested by tier one investors. We need to see a very solid board. We need to see a strong team committed. And we also need to see a profitable companies or a company that is on the path to profitability and at least positive growth margin. If the company is not profitable, we need to have at least 12 to 18 months cash runaway available. Otherwise, it's too risky for us to have a primary round and we don't want to enter into this complexity. 
And we need also to hear from the founder and having alignment with some investors that there, there is a clear plan and exit within three, four years that can be an IPO or an M&A. When all these criteria are met, we are ready to put an offer on the table and we are flexible on the size of our check. We can start very small, going up to 25 million. We can do in one round, several rounds, and you know, meet the needs of the seller time by time. And we are also very supportive because Andrea's experience and my experience, it's very supportive to the founder because we have been living in the past some of you know the challenges and we might have the answer. And if we don't have the answer, surely we understand his emotional problem. We will stay at our side with him and try to find together the answer and the solutions. Perfect. Thank you very much for explaining. You have been here with us in Amsterdam for the past uh, two, three days. And I wanted to ask, how was the conference so far for you? Well, you can first of all sense at all moments that this is a conference that is run by entrepreneurs. Uh, there's a lot of attention to detail uh, and uh, some very smart things such as yesterday night, there were breakout events at night, so smaller groups with much more possibility to interact uh, not getting lost in a dinner with thousands of people. Uh, and uh, the quality of uh, the panels was also outstanding. So really a very good uh, conference. Thank you. And what do you think about the, our audience that we've gathered here? Uh, I think the overall, the, the level of the audience, it was really good. I can see top manager. I've seen also institutional managers here. So I'm very pleased. And I think this is thanks to the setup that you have been building during the year on a smaller size compared to other, you know, event, but really qualitative rather than quantitative and quality matters. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia.